Hi guys, this is going to be another Grandad's Junk Pile project. Got a request from Cherie or Cherry Tree to do a gravity powered car. It's a 10 centimeter fall, which is not very much, using a 1 kilogram weight. And out here in what's supposed to be a greenhouse or certainly for growing plants, which we haven't used for quite a while. As you'll see, it's fallen apart. But down in the bottom there is a couple of my old rubber band powered cars. So I'm going to get the, the one out the back there and use that. In fact, the last time I used this one, it had a water bottle on there, spraying water onto that paddle or turbine, I suppose you could call it, to push the car along. So if I remember, I'll put a link in so you can see that episode. I've stripped all those extra bits off the chassis, and then we need to make up some sort of tower over the top so we can drop the weight. And we also need a good pulley at the top of the tower for the string to go round. So... I'm going to modify this toy car wheel, put a little bit of a um, disc on the side of it so that we've got a pulley so the string can't slide off either way and then we'll mount that at the top of the tower and that'll be the pulley for the string to go round. You need a good pulley at the top otherwise you waste a lot of your power. For the tower I'm going to use some of this plastic trellis that I got from Poundland. I've used it on a couple of other projects so it's not all there now, there's a few bits missing. You could actually make this chassis out of this stuff. It's thin hollow plastic tubing. So you could do the whole job with that, if you wanted to. We're up together. What we now need to do is get one kilogram of weight. So I've got my scales here. I've got some lead fishing weights in a little plastic container. And we're... 995 grams, 994 grams, that's close enough for me, we'll see how we do. I'm going to adjust the length of the string, I'm actually using kite string, it's quite strong, so that it goes around the hook that I put on the back axle, over the pulley, and down and tied to my little container so that it just reaches when the container is sitting on the tray there. Just rolling the car backwards till we're at the right height. Alright. That's 10 centimetres. Let's just let it go and see what happens. Well, it's moving, but not very convincingly. So I'm going to wrap some tape around the back axle here to thicken it up to give it more leverage. Because that's really struggling at the moment. I think the camera will see that. So I've just wrapped ordinary sticky tape around the axle just to make it a little bit thicker. And that will increase the leverage so that the weights can actually turn the axle. accelerating as it's going. 
Alright, I've wound it back. That's just on the 10 centimetres. So let's see if it goes this time. Oh, I've got a bit of a left turn. <laughs> right. I could adjust the axles a bit to counteract the left turn, but we'll just see if pointing the car to the right a bit is good enough for demonstration purposes. Oh, I pointed it a long way to the right. <laughs> Well, we've done uh, three, four, about five metres there. I've no idea what distance we were supposed to cover. But I'll do for now. So five metres from a ten centimetre drop. Summary time. We've got a gravity powered car, one kilogram of lead weights, going up to a pulley made from an old uh, toy car wheel that's freely rotating up there on a little bit of bicycle spoke axle. The tower is made from plastic trellis. The wheels are CDs, uh, the back axle is a bicycle spoke, the front axle is a piece of cane, chassis is plastic conduit, but we could have just as easily used this stuff for it. This is one of my old chassis that I use for all sorts of test beds. Um, oh, bottle tops for the hubs and it's actually plastic ball pen tubes for the cross members but you can see there's lots of holes in this chassis where I've used it for all sorts of things over the years and that's a one kilogram weight dropping ten centimetres and as I say, we got about five metres out of it then. Nearly missed a couple of bits of detail. That hook on the back axle is a bent paper clip that I've just hot glued in place. And the axle itself, I had to thicken up by wrapping tape around it to give the string enough leverage to turn the axle. Because the idea of using a very thin axle was to get the maximum distance under power, but that also reduced the amount of power, or the amount of leverage, that the string has on the axle. So we had to thicken it a bit to give it enough power. If you had a much thicker back axle, then the car will accelerate faster, but it won't go as far under power. So it's a matter of does faster acceleration get it to a good speed so it can freewheel further or do you want to rely on it going under power as far as possible? That's one of those things you'll just have to find out for yourself to see what's best. I think that'll do. Job done.